Hey guys, I got some new shoes today that just arrived from Under Armour. I just wanted to show you what they are. They're basically a tactical boot, or they're marketed as a tactical boot anyway. The Val sets and it's the full leather upper. There's another version of it that has like a synthetic upper and I didn't really like that one. I find the synthetic stuff just looks a bit ratty after a while. And yeah, they're 240 bucks Australian. And yeah, I've been just looking for some new boots for a while that I thought I could basically just use going out or hiking, kind of like an all-rounder kind of boot. And I wasn't able to get these in the shops, the physical shops. I had to order it online. So let's have a look what it, what they look like. So there they are. And yeah, in the photos, they actually look a little bit better in the photos. They've, they kind of just darken the black really, really down. But, uh, yeah, overall, having a look at them, you know, underneath, you've got this kind of interesting tread pattern. That's got to offer a bit of grip, says slip resistance on them. Surprisingly, they also feel pretty light. I was expecting them to be a lot heavier than they actually are. There's no stitching on the sole of the boot that connects the upper part with the with the sole so it's just glued on would have liked there to be some kind of stitching but hopefully that holds up it's got a reinforced toe there it's not there's no steel cap or anything like that but there is just a bit of rubber there it's so these boots are actually waterproof apparently which is going to be good if you're hiking or if you end up stepping in a creek or something like that it feels reasonably yeah, durable, I guess. Yeah, I'm just surprised that they're fairly light. And sometimes I get worried also when they're too light because you know, I wonder whether they're actually going to hold up or not. But only time will tell. They actually, overall, I think, feel quite durable. And on one hand, I kind of like that they're a bit lighter. So then I'm not going to have to you know, be able to lugging around gigantic heavy boots with me all the time. Like my motorcycle boots. Okay, I don't think that bit of the tongue is made of leather. That's some sort of synthetic leather, but that's all leather here, up to the all the way up to the sides, and that becomes all synthetic there. Let's have a look at the other one. Yeah, it's cool that there's also a zip here, which just I'm used to having these on motorcycle boots. It just makes it a lot easier to actually put the shoe, take the shoe on, uh, put it on and off. Actually, it doesn't. It just loosens it actually. I thought it actually unzipped all the way, but it doesn't. See, look, it's got a kind of material there behind as well. So it just sort of loosens it, which is better than nothing. And I guess maybe that might help with the waterproofing as well, rather than sort of un rather than having a the zip un undo the entire shoe and then have the risk of water going through the zip mechanism. Um, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with them. Are they worth 240 bucks? Well, I hope so. I'll have to try them out. And yeah, I like that they sort of look, you know, you can get away maybe with just wearing these out somewhat casually as well, even from the side there. Yeah, you can you can get away with it. They don't look too much like, tr you know, traditional work boots or those larger tactical boots, heavier tactical boots that you see around there. So, yeah, that's about it. If you have questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you.